Congrats on his upset win in your bare knuckle debut, Kyle. How proud are you of this performance? I feel real good, man. I put in the work. I had a real supportive team. I have a supportive family, you know. This sh my hard work paid off and it feels great. So you actually beat a local undefeated fighter in his backyard. How good does it feel actually to come here as the away fighter and pull off the upset? Yeah, I know I know it was gonna be a tough fight. I know he had his home team behind him. And I know it's either I would have had to beat him all the way or you know, or it wouldn't go. You know, uh, I don't know, I just felt like I had to outdo him, you know. It was a real tough and grueling fight. We saw him wobble. Walk us through that moment. You caught him real flush? Yeah, he was he stepped in, I caught him with a uh, with a left hook, and I saw him wobbling down. And if I had a, I feel like if I had a couple more seconds, I would have put him to sleep. Now we see you have a problem with your eye, also your hand is in the ice. How much did all these things bother you? Well, I broke my hand in the second round. And um, you know, I couldn't I didn't have a choice but to keep throwing it, and now I think it's even worse than it was. Today. But I'm about to go get it looked at, you know, so I'll be all right. Now, how were you able to adapt from all the different martial arts backgrounds that you have? How were you able to adapt to bare knuckle fighting? I mean, we do a lot of boxing sparring in my gym. You know, I'm one, I'm a boxing coach in my gym. And um, I just figured like it's pretty much boxing without gloves, more of a street style, you know, in a triangle. <laughs> For somebody who doesn't know, how does it feel to connect with the bare knuckles and also to receive punches? Oh, it sucks. I've, I've had a lot of street fights growing up. And this reminded me of why, how rough it used to be. <laughs> what actually does hurt more? You be getting hit or hitting somebody with bare knuckles? I'll say hitting them. <laughs> what emphasis did you place in, uh, you know, preparation for this fight? What did you do differently than, let's say, for an MMA fight? Uh, well, I did a lot of um, elevation training because I know it's like a high pace. You know, I got to keep going. Um, did a lot of boxing training. I'm usually, I usually do kickboxing, and for this whole camp, I didn't throw one kick. You know, everything was just hands, you know, fighting in smaller areas, you know, getting used to the, the triangle. Fighting in smaller areas, as you said, the trigon is something really unique in combat sports, right? So how are you able to adjust uh, to, to the trigon? You know, just being aware of where the ropes are, you know, and just don't get your back against the ropes. That's all it was. My, my goal was to just stay in the middle, keep it in the middle of the ring. What do you love about bare knuckle fighting? You know, it's on the rise worldwide right now. Do you think it's a great time to be part of it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, like, go down in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> First ones to do it. <laughs> Is there anybody you want to call out next? I know it's a small division, but I'll fight whoever. I don't care, I'll fight anybody. What's your biggest strength as a fighter? Well, I'm really good with my footwork. And, you know, I'm really disciplined when it comes to fight camp, and stuff like that. How much rest is that we're gonna require right now to come back and start training again? I mean, as soon as I get this hand in the cast, I got this hand good, so I could train with this hand until this one heals. Any sponsors, family you wanna thank? I mean, I wanna thank my, you know, my family, of course, all my supporters back home, all the supporters I had here. You know, I don't know anyone down here, and I feel like I had a lot of support, and I felt good. I'm Kyle McMillan with Bare Knuckle News. Nobody beats us to the punch.